Hello, my name is Sam Cass. I'm assistant chef here at the White House and welcome to the East Room for the first ever in the history of the White House Kids State Dinner uh, during lunch. We are so excited to have kids from all over the country, one winner from each state and their parent who have won an incredible uh, honor of coming to have a dinner with the First Lady of the United States uh, through our partnership with Epicurious and their healthy cooking contest. This has, we got 1,200 submissions from all over the country for kids to submit with their parents recipes that were healthy, uh, creative, and delicious. And we have had an amazing time. So after uh, we got all those submissions, Epicurious selected two from each state that were best met the criteria. From there, uh, myself, Jose Andres, and a number of other judges tasted a hundred dishes uh, in, over, in about two hour period to determine the winner. We really were looking to see what kid used their creative talents to help put dishes on, on the plate that not only were good for you but were delicious and that kids would love to eat. So we've had an amazing time and if you go to letsmove.gov you can download this cookbook that has all of our very uh, talented young people's recipes. So right now what you're seeing is kids coming in uh, to make their way up to the East Room uh, to get ready for, for the dinner. It has been such a pleasure uh, to see these kids and all of their hard work and their creativity. And we know just how important it is for kids to get involved in, in eating healthy and living healthier lives. Right now, the f one in three of the youngest kids in our, in our country are going to have diabetes in their lifetime if we don't turn this around. And so First Lady is calling on all of us to unite around our kids' health and support families to lead healthier lives. And this is what it's all about. Kids cooking and taking this into their own hands and being leaders in this is just thrilling. So we are so excited. We are making history here today. Um, and let's see who is coming in right now. And so I'm going to introduce our first guest. Come here, Haley. Give me a hug. Congratulations, you. you made it. So we're gonna be talking to all the people out there. So this is Haley Thomas. So this is the future of our country. She is a dear friend of mine and a tremendous cook and has her own cooking show online. So will you tell us, please tell us where you're from, how old you are, and then tell me about what some of the work you're doing. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. I'm 11 Michael years old, Prados, and for some of the Baton work Rouge, that I'm Louisiana. doing, I have an Fish online Chicago. cooking show, Kids Can Cook, Chuck, and basically I host that show with my little sister, and we empower kids to get in the kitchen, as this event does too, and um, I have a Healthy Girl Adventures Club, a yeah. club for girls online where we motivate and inspire each other to get healthy, and um, just recently I am the new spokesperson for the Hyatt Hotels for Kids by Kids menu. <laughs> what else can I say? That's amazing, and so you're helping all of your friends and, and kids in your, in your class learn how to cook and get active, is that right? Yes, absolutely. I love getting out into the community and showing kids how to be healthier. That's great. And so y one of your recipes is being cooked by White House chefs right now. Yes, uh, that's just an honor, really, to have it being cooked here and served here. Isn't it great? 12. And it's delicious. I tasted it, and I didn't even know it was yours. I was like, wow, this is incredible. So I'm so happy you're here. The first lady is going to be so thrilled to see you. That's great. So it doesn't look great in here? Yes, it does. It looks wonderful. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait. And then we're going to get to go to the garden after this. That'll be really exciting. I didn't get the garden the last time I was here. I so. Did you know we were going to the garden? Yes, I did. Okay, good. I just didn't know if I gave away a secret there. <laughs> well, very good. All right, well, have a look around. You can find your name, and uh, we're going to continue on. I'm so happy you're here. Yes, I'm very excited as well. Where's your mom? Can we say hello to your mom? Yes, mom. Come on, mom. How are you? Hi, Give me a hug. Nice Give me to a see hug. You again. Oh, How's it going? It's so awesome. Con congratulations. Thank you. You must be so proud of this young I'm lady. Very proud of her. She's she's doing some cool things. She's doing great. Look at you. She just brought you to the White House for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right. We'll have such a great time today. Thank you so much. Right. See you soon. I'll see you later. All right. Let's see. We have another guest from Florida. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. Here, come on in. Come on over. What's your name? Deborah Goncalves. It's such a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sam. I'm a chef here. What did you cook today? Uh, triple F, a fake New York, fast food. York. Fake fast food. All right, tell me about what that, what is that? 
It's a mixture for the base as bulgur wheat and ground beef, mm -hmm. which in the middle, which, that's the fake burger. And then in the middle, there's spinach and carrots with uh, a slice of uh, white American cheese. And then on the side, you get uh, watermelon fries, which is watermelons, and we cut up like fries. Ah, so creative. That's great. So what? how'd you come up with that recipe? Tell me about your process. It's a recipe that my grandmother used to make to my mother. Yeah, so she just passed it down to me, and then that's how we came up with it. That's so great. Did you ever dream you'd be here in the White House? No, I never thought about even like going in the front of the White House. So, yeah, it's a big thing. That's great. And so do you cook a lot with your family? Yeah, well, we always have like everyone when we eat, everyone does something in the house, which is me, my dad, and my mom. We, everyone cooks something in the house together. Uh, so you, so when anytime you're, you're doing dinner, everybody has to contribute something? Yeah, everyone, basically. And is this your favorite dish to cook? Yeah, because I just really like the kiwi, <laughs> the ground beef, and the vulgar wheat. Yeah. And that's really great how you're integrating healthy, healthy ingredients into something, and then you don't even, it's not even like you're eating vegetables, right? It doesn't taste like vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> really. That sounds delicious. Uh, well, that's great. And do you, um, do, you, what, do you have any other favorite dishes that you love to cook? Yeah, I actually like doing mac and cheese. Nice. How do you do your mac and cheese? Well, it's the pasta, and then I like mixing different cheeses. Like the, I like mixing the white cheeses, like the white American cheeses, also with the yellow yeah. cheeses. And then put it in the oven and just bake it with the crust. Yeah. Nice. I love it. That sounds delicious. Well, you are in the East Wing of the White House for the first ever state dinner for kids in the history of the White House. So congratulations. You sh we are so proud of you, and the First Lady is going to be so excited to meet you. Thank you. All right. Have so much fun. Wait, is your dad here? Can we say hello to him? Come on over here, sir. How's it going? My name's Sam Cass. Harrison What's your name? Alfonso. Alfonso Gonzalez. Nice to meet you. And uh, tell me, what, what do you th what's going through your head today? Wow, this is a fantastic day. This is a memorial day for me. This is, this is a wonderful day. I am so proud for my daughter and the recipe. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful day. This is a wonderful day. You never, th you ne you never thought you'd be in the White House, would you? No. <laughs> this is the first time. Yeah. This is wonderful. And, and wh where do you guys live? At Tampa, Florida. In, in Tampa. That's mm -hmm. great. Very good. My, 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 my grandmother is in Coral Gables, so I'm, I, w I was just down there. Nice. Yeah, so I get down there a lot. All right, well, listen, have so much fun. It's going to be a great day. Okay, okay Chef. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank Take you. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Amazing. So you see, those kind of strategies are incredible. Uh, integrating healthy, uh, healthy ingredients in a burger, but actually it has bulgur wheat, vegetables, a little cheese. Couldn't be better than that. God, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to taste all of this food. So let's see who's coming in now. What's your name? Logan Kendall. Logan Kendall. Where are you from? Ohio. Where in Ohio? The Cleveland area. Nice. Cleveland, Ohio. So what did you cook that got yourself here today? I made a shredded veggie wrap. A shredded veggie wrap. So what were the ingredients in there? Um, there's a cream cheese and mayo sauce. Okay. You take cream cheese, mayo, some green onion some green pepper, yep. onions, um, parsley. Nice. That sounds good. And then you put it in a wrap? Yeah. A tortilla or a flatbread. Okay. Put on broccoli slaw and put pepperoni on. Broccoli slaw. Now there's some serious. That's great. Uh, how old are you? 11. 11. So do you like to cook? I love to cook. Nice. Do you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um... There are a couple things I okay, want to. What, what, what's the list? A chef, a paleontologist. Nice. I used to dig, I've dug a few dinosaur bones in my life, and I'm a chef, so maybe, you know, we could, we could talk about what's possible. Okay. Uh, and so do you cook dinner with your family? Sometimes. Yeah, every once in a while you help out? Is this one of your favorite recipes to cook? Yeah. What else do you like to do? Um, I do Taekwondo. Oh, I was, I was talking about what other kinds of foods, but hey, Taekwondo, don't, don't, you know, I hope I don't say anything inappropriate here. <laughs> um, did you ever, could you ever imagine you'd be in the White House? No. Look at it, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. You're in the, you're in the, you're in the East Room of the White House. There is so I much see. history in this, in this, in this room. So many important things have happened here. Presidents give all their press conferences here and there's in big parties and different events so this is this is pretty special and it's never happened in the history of the white house that's pretty great huh yeah you're, you're a part of history is your mom here 
Why don't, can we say hello to her? Come on, Mom. Michael Lakin. How are you? Fine. How's it going? What's your name? Rosemary Kendall. It's a pleasure to meet you. Have you ever been to the White House before? Never. This is a pretty big way to come. It's, it's, we just had no idea making a veggie wrap with a lot of us to be here. And here you are in the east, in the east room of the White House. Going to meet the, have you met the first lady yet? No. Going to get to meet the first lady. It's pretty incredible, huh? He also wants to meet the dog. So here's the thing. Here's the here's the here's the secret is that Bo is by far the most popular person. Here we got. You know, nobody's interested in it. Everybody just wants to see Bo. We understand. It's okay. But uh, I'm not sure where Bo is, but maybe he'll come around. We'll see. Sometimes he'll just show up. You never know. All right. Well, listen, have a great time. Enjoy yourself. This is a once in a lifetime and uh, it's going to be so much fun. Yeah, we're enjoying ourselves so far. Okay. It's great. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, it's been our pleasure. All right. Have fun. Good job. How are you? What's your name? Michael Predos. Pleasure to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now, I know he can cook if he's from Baton Rouge. How old are you? I am 12 years old. 12 years old. I love those shoes. I mean, this kid is dapper. Uh, so what did you cook that got you here today? Uh, fish tacos. Fish tacos. Who doesn't love fish tacos, right? So tell me how you made, tell me how you made your, your tacos. Well, we let the fish marinate in some soy sauce, and then we pan-seared it. And we had some li lime juice, uh, orange juice, some rice wine vinegar, and some oil. And we put some cilantro in it, and we like made a coleslaw. And so you can put that on top of the fish tacos. Nice. That sounds delicious. You don't mind if I cook that for the first family, do you? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> All right, I may, I, I may just do that. I'll let you know. Uh, did you ever think, have you ever been to the White House before? No, sir. You I've been in Washington, D.C. before, but I've never been in the White You've House. You've never been. And, you know, you're here in the East Room of the White House. I mean, so much important things have happened here. It's, what, are you, what are you feeling? Nervousness. Oh, don't be nervous. Nothing to be nervous about. This is all fun. You're here to have a great time. You've earned it. You've cooked a really healthy recipe that's so important because we need you and, 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 peop and kids like you all over the country cooking good, healthy food that other, other young people are going to eat, right? So they can be strong and healthy and, and do great things, right? And, uh, and so um, what is, uh, what, what's the one thing that, you know, do you have any questions? Would you have a question for me? Have you thought of you the things you want to know? What's your favorite food to cook? Ooh, good, good question. See, here's the thing, and we're going to get to go down there. I get to cook out of the First Lady's garden. You know, she has a vegetable garden. And so depending on what's coming out of there, those are always my favorite things. So like right now, we have some tomatoes and a lot of peppers and herbs, so you're going to get to see it. So that is probably my favorite thing to cook. But I will say that some of my favorite food to eat is in Louisiana, for sure. So listen, is your dad here? Your grandfather's here. Can we say hello to him? Why don't we have him come over here? Kayla Wayman, age nine. How's it going, sir? Billings, Montana. Michael Pradosh. Say that again? Michael Pradosh. Oh, pleasure. Great to meet you. How are you? How are you doing? It's pretty great, huh? Doing very well. Just, it's awesome. It really is. Uh, I woke up this morning and it hit me between the eyes. <laughs> yeah, we're coming to the White House. Coming to the White House. Going to meet the First Lady. Pretty good. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, well, thank you, uh, thank you so much for for joining him. We're really proud of him and, and all these young people. That it's so important for our country. So this is really great. Thank you so much. This has uh, been a wonderful event, and I hope it spreads to, to other communities and other folks. That's certainly our hope. So listen, your job is not to be nervous, just to have a great time because it's going to be absolutely now, phenomenal. And the food's going to be great, and you're going to have butlers serving you like a. This is all the real deal. Just like you walked in and the, there was the report, that's how it really happens at a state dinner. There's going to be entertainment. You're going to see a lot of cool stuff. All right? Having fun? Yes, sir. All right. Have a good one. All right. Take care. You, Great to see you. Wait until you see who's about to come on camera. Come here, my man. Come on over here. <laughs> how are you? Good. What's your name? Logan. Logan, where are you from? North Dakota. North Dakota. And how old are you? Eight. Logan, what's on your head? A whale. A whale. Oh, my goodness. Can you turn that camera so they can see that? That is some whale if I've ever seen one. Uh, so what did you cook to get you here? Turkey vegetable soup. Oh, delicious. And is, do you like to cook a lot? Yes. 
So tell me about your soup. What goes in your soup? Turkey and carrots and all sorts of vegetables. You can put like any kind of vegetable in there, huh? And do you love it? Do you eat it? Just Do you just go crazy for it? Yes. Do you help your mom or dad cook at home? Uh-huh. What are some of the other things you cook with them? Uh, pizza. Pizza, but good pizza, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, pizza can be good. Uh, I can't really think of anything. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Not a problem. Uh, are you excited to be here? You're in the White House. This is the East, East Room of the White House. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, very excited. Are you a little nervous? Mm-hmm. Don't be nervous. This is all about having fun and celebrating because you really accomplished a lot. We're really proud of you. Mm -hmm. All right. Who, who brought you here? The, did your mom bring you? Yeah. Is she, is she here? Yes. Can we say hello to her? Yeah. Come here, Mom. Mr. Reed Alexander. So the, <laughs> come over here. here you, you come, yeah, you come here with your giant whale hat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Thank you. What's your name? Aaron Tucker. So great to have you. First question is, how are you going to get this whale back to, to home? I don't know if it'll pass through security. We'll have to <laughs> test that out. <laughs> well, um, you must be very proud of him, huh? Very, very proud. Yep. We're he very just, excited. He just won you a trip to the White House. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty you, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, should, you can get a little extra play time for this, I think. Well, thank you so much for being here. He's a great example for the, for the country, and we're, we're so thrilled. Thank so, you. So have so much fun, all right? Don't, no nervous, just fun. Got it? <laughs> all right. What's your name? My name is Sydney Brown. I am 11, and I'm from North Carolina. Nice. So great to meet you. And so what did you cook today? I cooked a meatloaf burger with strawberry lemonade and zucchini fries. I remember this. And in fact, I think we're serving your zucchini fries, aren't we? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Right now, downstairs, the White House chefs who cook for the President and First Lady of the United States are cooking your zucchini fries. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel so excited. I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's great. And so do you like to cook a lot at home? What, uh, what are some of the other things you cook? I cook mac and cheese, cookies, brownies, beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. That sounds good. All right. And what are some of your favorite vegetables? I love zucchini, broccoli, peas and cabbage. That's my kind of lady. I like it. And have you ever been to the White House before? No, sir. This is a pretty good way to make your first trip. Yes, sir. Are you a little nervous? No, sir. Nice. Good. My first one. I like that. Is your mom here? Yes, sir. Can we say hello to her? Come on over here. How are you? What's your name? Latanya Brown. Latanya. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for raising such a poised young lady. Us. Are you excited to be here? Absolutely. It's pretty, gr it's pretty great. Pretty great moment. So you guys cook a lot together? We do. We do. I couldn't get her out of my kitchen once she turned three, so she's been stuck there since then. I love that. That's fantastic. Well, keep cooking because we really need uh, all of your help and, and inspiration for the rest of the country because it's really important that, that young people are getting good, healthy food to, to grow up strong and, and do big things, right? That's correct. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Have such a great time, okay? Thank you. All right. Who are you? What's your name, sir? Michael Lagand. Michael? Lagand. Great to meet you. And how old are you? Nine. And where are you from? Sugarland, Texas. Sugarland, Texas. I love it. I know they got some good food down in Sugarland, Texas. Yeah, they do. Yeah, what's, uh, what did you, uh, are you a little nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, don't be nervous. It's all good. We're having fun here. This is all, this is all about fun. You are in the East Room of the White House. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> sure it is. And what did you cook to uh, get yourself here? I made bunny biscuits and secret service super salad. <laughs> bunny biscuits and secret service super salad. It's bunny bisque, not oh, bunny bisque. Excuse me. That's right. That's right. I remember, actually. I do remember the secret service super salad. What goes into a secret service super salad, and will it make you a secret service agent? Not likely. But what, okay, so what are the ingredients? Spinach leaves, herb grilled chicken, strawberries, purple onion, feta cheese, and balsamic Jennifer vinaigrette. That is what I'm talking about. That sounds delicious. Would you mind if I used that recipe to serve it to the president and first lady? That would be awesome. <laughs> All right, I just might have to do that. We got a lot of Secret Service agents around here, too, so maybe I'll, cook, I'll make a salad for them. What do you think? That would be great. Nice. Well, listen, this is a, you are part of history today. And so that means you got to have fun. We've never, in the history of the White House, had a kid's state dinner, ever. Yeah. That's 
pretty cool, right? Yes, it is. All right, so your job today is to have fun and just to relax and let it out, okay? Great. Is your mom here? Yeah, she's here. Can we? Sh sh don't you think we should say hello to her? Sure. All right. Come on, mom. Department of Education. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? What's your name? Tony. Tony, great to meet you. What a what a young man you have. He's fantastic. And you are one of his idols. Oh. So this is extra special. That's that's great. And so do you guys Yeah, that's that's it. Nicely done. He knows all about the George Washington painting. That's great. You're you're here, so you get to take it in. This China that you're using today, that's the Reagan China. That is real White House China. All right, well, thank you so much for bringing him. We're so excited here. We're very proud of you, and uh, got to keep cooking for me, okay? Of course. All right, you guys have so much fun. It's going to be great. It's an honor and a pleasure. Welcome back to the Kids State Dinner. Uh, we are having an absolute ball right here. Now you hear in the background, the Marine Band is playing kids tunes. I heard Under the Sea uh, at one point, and it's been so much fun. Here with me is Tanya Steele from Epicurious, who idea this was and has been absolutely instrumental in bringing this to fruition thank you so much it's been already an amazing day so what got you thinking about wanting to do this you know uh, getting kids to eat healthy and cook has been a huge passion of mine for a long time i'm a mom i have twin 14 year olds and when they were born even though i was in the food profession i realized wait a minute i don't know how to feed them healthy foods and so it began kind of a lifelong passion for educating kids and at Epicurious, we try to educate people, adults and kids, all the time about how to eat healthy. So uh, I think about two years ago, I thought about what is a great way to inspire kids, a healthy recipe contest, and what would be the ultimate prize? A kids' day dinner at the White House. I can't believe it's actually happened. I can't believe it. It's, it's absolutely amazing. So, so describe a little bit of the process about how you actually put this together and, and, the, and all the collaborations that's gone into it. Oh my God, we've had an amazing team. We worked with the USDA and the Department of Education and Let's Move and the First Lady's Office. And we all as a team created this contest and uh, put it up and we got 1,200 entries from around the country and even as far away as Bombay, India, which is amazing. And um, yeah, and the entries were really sophisticated and creative and original and uh, it was so hard to narrow down which ones were the right ones and we chose by state so you know and then we did the, the judging the two f final and you remember that you, you barely can you know <laughs> there's no way we'll ever forget that so Tiny and I and a couple others tasted a hundred different meals uh, ate a hundred different meals in about what two hours or yes. so? yeah it was unbelievable it was Herculean I have to say and thank God for DC Central Kitchen who really helped us pull it off Yeah, DC Central Kitchen is one of the most incredible organizations I know uh, do great work in providing food to those who don't have it, but also job training and education so people really can get skills uh, to have a much better pr uh, future in their lives. And so they took on this task of cooking a hundred different meals, complicated meals, uh, and putting them all together and getting them out to us so that they were still warm and fresh and delicious, which I don't think I've ever seen anything like that done. It's, un it's just unbelievable. It was. It was an amazing assembly line. And, you know, they put out 10,000 meals a day. So I thought if anyone could do it, it could be them. It was, uh, it, was absolutely, uh, it was absolutely incredible. And so, you know, from there we narrowed it down. And, boy, that was hard, wasn't it? It was incredibly hard. You know, there were so many great entries. And so I, I found it very difficult. But I think what we came up with were fantastic winners. But you know what? Honestly, all, all of them are winners just for entering, you know, because it really gets them to think about eating healthy every day of their lives. Yeah. That's right. So, well, thank you so much for your leadership and your, your vision. And this is a, a dream. We're making history today. We are. This is a beautiful thing. Thank you so much, Sam. All right. Well, have fun. I'll see you soon. All right. I have uh, a, a special guest to come talk to me. Come on over here. And let me tell you why he's so special. What's your name? Sam. Aha. Uh -huh. Awesome name. Sam, where are you from? I'm from Maryland. You're from Maryland. And how old are you? Ten. Ten years old, and uh, what did you cook to get yourself here today? I cooked, well, my mom cooked tofu um, with green onions and sugar snap peas. But you were helping her come up with that, right? Yes. Yeah, of course. That's why you're here. And uh, do you like tofu and sugar snap peas and all that stuff? That's one of your favorites? Yes. Do you help her cook a lot? Um, no. No, you don't. But you got yourself in the kitchen this time, right? Yes. Good deal. Well, are you having fun? Yeah, I am. Good deal. 
Well, listen, have a, have a great time in there. Enjoy the food, and we'll see you when we're going down in the garden, okay? Thank you. All right, have fun. All right. So right now, all of the kids are lined up. A lot of them have these crazy balloon things that you're seeing, and they're heading in to take a photo with the first lady which is, you know, a, a dream come true for so many. I have another guest. Come on over here. What's your name? Stephanie Shumamura Sakamoto. Wow, and Stephanie, where are you from? I think I could guess it with all those beautiful flowers. I'm from Oahu. Oahu in Hawaii. You have come a long way to be here, huh? Yes. How long was the flight? About 10 hours. 10 hours. Are you tired? Um, not too much. You're feeling pretty excited, right? Uh, so what did you cook? I cooked... Scrumptious salmon salad. Scrumptious salmon salad. Now that just sounds absolutely delicious. And what goes in your salmon salad? Um, I have lots of, like, my favorite fruits. I have lychee, strawberries, bananas, apples, oranges, and pineapple. That sounds absolutely delicious. Uh, and do you like to cook a lot? Yes. That's great. What are some of the other things you cook? Um, I like to cook some pasta for my family sometimes. And um, I also do 4-H, so I like to cook, like, cheesecake. Wow, that sounds good. And would you know what you want to be when you grow up? Um, maybe a chef or a lawyer. Chef or a lawyer, those are two very different paths, let me tell you. But either one, you're going to do great. Keep working hard at school and have a great time today, okay? Thank you. All right, have fun. Bye. So, up. Oh, who's next? Come on. This is a special person. Why? Because where are you from? D.C. D.C. She is from our home city. So what's your name? Ileana Gonzalez Evans. And how old are you? Eleven. And you, what grade are you going into? Six. And we're starting a new school, right? Yeah. D.C. Basis. D.C. Basis. And are you feeling good? Are you a little nervous? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. You're always a little nervous the first day, but then it's going to be great. So what would you cook? A Mexican wrap. Mexican wrap. What, in, what went into your wrap? Well, my grandma, she taught me how to cook tortillas, and so um, I just p added vegetables and turkey bacon. Vegetables and turkey bacon, that sounds delicious. So it's like traditional like your grandma made it, but healthier because of the way you're doing it, right? Yeah. That's exactly what we're trying to do here. This is exactly our hope, is taking all those great tradition and culture and making it healthy and delicious, right? Yeah. Are you having fun? Yes. Have you seen the First Lady yet? Yeah. Was that awesome? Yeah, she said I'm sitting right next to her. Oh, you got the lucky seat, huh? Nice. All right, well, have so much fun, okay? Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. That's great. She's a lucky one. I want to meet a good friend of mine. Hey. How are you, sir? Excellent. How are you doing? Michael Curtin from the D.C. Central Kitchen. This man uh, did so much to help make today happen, cooking all the food, but does absolutely hero's work in making sure that uh, people get the food that they need and the job training to make sure they live successful lives. Tell us a little bit about your work. Uh, thank you, Sam. Well, at the kitchen, uh, we believe waste is wrong, whether that waste is food, uh, productive minds, or space. So we collect unused food that would be thrown away, take it back to the kitchen, prepare about 5,200 meals a day that we then send out to shelters, transition homes, halfway houses. Uh, but more importantly, we run a culinary job training program for men and women coming out of prison in recovery from addiction to help them break the cycle of homelessness, hunger, and poverty on their own. And then we've created a whole portfolio of social enterprise businesses, including locally sourced scratch cooked school food, which is something we're really, really proud of and focusing on now. It's just amazing. Uh, if anybody's ever in D.C., the work you're doing is truly an inspiration. And thank you. And thank you for doing this. So t give us a little insight of what it actually took to cook a hundred different menu items uh, for us to taste in a matter of a couple hours. Yeah, and I think it was a, a little more than a hundred, wasn't it? It seemed like that anyway, but uh, I tell you, what, these things, they always, it's a little more difficult than it seems like it should be. But when you have, I think it was close to 200, these crazy recipes from all over the country, uh, and every one of them is a little bit the same, but a little bit different. So it's starting from scratch every single time. Uh, and, but, but it was fun, it was really great to see the creativity that the kids had and really important, I think, to see how invested kids are in understanding the connection between nutrition and education and their futures. I think that was really a powerful thing. And then spending some time with you and Jose during the judging, and I'm, thank goodness I did not have to eat all of them. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I've never tasted so many dishes in my whole life, but it was well worth that. It was well worth it. Well, listen, thank you for, 
Thank you for all that you've done and that you do. Thank you. Sam. Uh, and uh, and have a great time here. My, thank you. We will take right. care. Bye bye. Unbelievable uh, uh, organization, DC Central Kitchen. Who is this young person? Come on over here. What's your name? Aaron. What is it again? Aaron Blost. Aaron, and where are you from? Um, I'm from Juneau, Alaska. Alaska, man, you've come a long way, huh? Yep, a long, long ways. <laughs> And uh, how long was the trip? Um, it was about, we flew to Seattle and from Seattle to here. It was about seven hours altogether. Yeah, that's, have you ever have you ever been to Washington before? No, this is my first time. This is a pretty good way to come here for the first time, right? <laughs> yep. You're very in the White House. <laughs> you know, the president, he'll walk, normally like when he has a big thing, he'll walk right down here and he'll give big speeches right there. It's pretty cool. Wow, huh? yeah. Pretty amazing. And so what did you cook? I cooked a salmon teriyaki wrap. That sounds delicious. There's a lot of salmon up there in Alaska, right? A lot of salmon. And uh, and so did you use a whole wheat tortilla? Um, sort of. A regular tortilla, and then what did you put in it? Yeah, and then we put vegetables and salmon, of course, and all sorts of stuff, rice and teriyaki. And Man, that sounds delicious. Do you mind if I maybe serve that to the present first lady one day? No. <laughs> you do that? Nice. All right, well, listen, have fun. Okay. It's going to be great, and we're very proud of you. Thank you so much for all you're doing. Thank you. All right, who's next? Come here. How are you? What's your name? My name is Avery McNew. And where are you from? I'm from Michigan. And how old are you? I am eight and a half. Eight and a half. And so tell me all about what you cooked today. I cooked apple oat balls, and the recipe is you need old-fashioned oats and raisins, cranberries, and apples, and you dump some warm water in, and then you mix it all with your hands, okay. then shape it into a circle, and then there's no cooking or anything. No cooking? So... So it's really quick. Yeah. And they must be delicious. They really are. I remember tasting them. They were delicious. <laughs> Yeah. And so do you like to eat those all the time? Yeah, I love them. That's They're great. Really and do you do other cooking at home? Um, yeah, I help my mom make salsa. Ooh, I love salsa. Do you like it spicy or mild? I like it, you know, mild. Mild. And anything else? Well, when I want to grow up, I want to be a chef. You do? That's great. Well, it takes a lot of hard work, and you have to do really good in school. You need good grades. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Are you working hard in school? Yes. What grade are you in? Um, I am going into third. Nice. That's so great. Well, congratulations. We're so proud of you. And uh, it's going to be great in there. Are you hungry? Very. I know. I'm starving. It's like, when are we going to eat? <laughs> All right. Well, have fun. All right. Thank you. All right. Unbelievable, huh? All right. I think we have one more special guest. Come on over here. What is your name? Arla Sutton. And where are you from? I'm from Washington. The state Washington? Wow, that's a long ways away. Yeah. Is this your first time in the White House? Uh, yeah. Is it the well? Is it the first time in D.C.? No, I came for um, Obama's um, inauguration. Oh, very good. And what did you cook? Um, I cooked salad noodle wraps. Grace. And what 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 kind of vegetables are in there? Um, there's lettuce and ginger and carrots, and you can put avocado in it if you want. That sounds very tasty. And are you having fun? Yeah. What's been your favorite part so far? Um, I don't know. I really like the pictures with Mrs. Obama. That's pretty much as good as it's going to get. So have a great time. Enjoy the food. And we're going to have a fun trip to the garden, OK? OK. All right. So, um, I'll see you down there. Bye. Come on over here. How's it going? What's your name? Trey Sims? Yes. And where are you from? Arkansas. Arkansas. And what'd you cook? Kicking chicken salad. Kicking chicken salad? Love that. And what goes into your kicking chicken salad? Spicy grilled chicken, avocado slices, whole wheat bag, bag of wet, cucumbers, carrots, strawberries, blueberries, um, uh, any kind of frat free dressing that you like. Yeah. And that sounds absolutely delicious. So you you put this you went to so you had a little spice and the strawberries, huh? Mm, yes. 
I like that combination. That's very sophisticated. And uh, do you do a lot of cooking? Um, quite a bit. Have you ever been to Washington before? No. I guess then you haven't been to the White House before, huh? Nope. It's pretty exciting, huh? Yes. Did you get to meet the First Lady? Yes. How was that? It was awesome. Was it, it was truly an honor. That's really great. Well, listen, we're so proud of you. Uh, keep up the good work. Are you working hard in school? Yes. Okay. We're counting on that. So we're proud of you. Have a great time. Uh, are you getting hungry? Kind of. I'm starving, huh? It's like, when are we going to serve the food? But uh, so listen, have fun, and we'll see you then. We'll see you in there, okay? Good job. Yeah. All right. Two of my favorites. Come on in here. Okay. These are two very special guests. I want you to introduce yourselves. Marshall Reed. Um, I'm the co-author to Portion Size Me. And his wonderful mother. Alexandra Reed. And so I want you to just, I'm going to let you tell your own story. This, this kid is an inspiration to me, to the First Lady, to lots of us. So tell us uh, how you came to write your, your cookbook. Well, um, it, it was really, I was being bullied at school. And, you know, nobody likes being bullied. And one day I snapped and said, Mom, I got to do something. And so I ended up doing the opposite of supersize me and putting videos on YouTube, sort of just tracking along my journey. And um, CNN saw it and asked us to be on their show. And while on their show, a literary agent saw that and said, you got to do put this into book form. And so you were putting up new recipes and posting them on YouTube. Why were you posting them on YouTube? Um, my dad was in Iraq. And you know, there's a huge time difference. So it was an easy way to communicate. So you would post up the, the, the recipes you were making so that you could be healthier and then posting them so your dad could see them? Yeah, a lot of them. But also, we noticed once we were putting it up on YouTube that a lot of people came and watched the videos, and that was sort of a, a motivator. That's incredible. And so what is the, what has this done to how your, your whole family eats now? Well, um, when my husband returned from Iraq, we had to get him on board. That took a little bit of time. But really, we just have six simple goals. No, you know, it's all common sense stuff. And now that all four of us are eating better, we have more energy. Uh, Marshall claims he does better at school. Uh, and we're just enjoying life a lot better. It's, it's small, simple changes really add up. Yeah. We've seen that all over the country. The first lady sees that. You know, little things can make a big difference. And so you have a very special honor today. What are you going to do today? I get to introduce the first lady. So. That is pretty incredible. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? Crazy. Um, I I'm really have no clue how it's going to go over, but I think I'll be able to do it. It's going to go over great. I've read the introduction. It's amazing. You're going to be incredible. You're just going to have a lot of fun in doing it, OK? All right. We are so proud of you. Your book is in great. It's helping so many kids and families across the country. So keep up the good work and, uh, and have so much fun in there. This is really great. Thank, Thank you, you. the First Lady for motivating all of us to keep focused. And it's actually your leadership that has helped us. So thank you very much. That means so much. So have so much fun, OK? All right, man, good to see you. All right. So we are getting ready to start. Uh, as you see, I mean, so many inspirational kids doing amazing things all over the country. And we are about to eat. I'm starving. All these kids are getting hungry. So we're going to throw it back to the behind the scenes video of how this all came to be and all the tasting that went in to make this day happen. Uh, thank you for being here. There's going to be a lot more to come. The First Lady will be speaking soon. And uh, with that, I'm going to go eat. So take care.